Perhaps the most common way of showing hierarchies, even more than tree maps or circle packing, is with something called a dendrogram, where dendro means branch, and so it's a picture or gram of the branches. Right here we have a cluster dendrogram. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to come down to where I can choose my data. Now I'm going to use the cocktails again, but now this one's really easy. I just have one box to put things into, so I'm going to put cocktail right there. And now you can see we begin with one group right here, and we have all our different cocktails listed over here on the side. And I'm going to put ingredient in there as well. Now this gets a little complicated, but you can tell, for instance, that Long Island iced tea has a lot of different ingredients. And you can tell that a caribou loo is made of pineapple juice and rum. And so you can see how we start with this one root, it branches out to each of these things, and then they have subsequent branches to include each of the ingredients. Now, dendrograms can become much more complicated than this. They can include many different levels, more levels for some items than others. And it's a nice way of looking at the connections. I like to think of it as a little bit like a genealogical chart, but this is probably the single most common way of depicting a hierarchical relationship between items in your data set.